What's up, everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm Niceish, and today we are answering a question. Uh, how do you set up nine turrets on one switch, but all of those turrets all coming together to do a single broadcaster and a single smart alarm? And so the idea here is that the the uh, the question is how do you how do you not have nine broadcasters or nine smart alarms on on these switches, and how do you provide extra power um, for a nine uh, you know single switch nine turret setup? I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, before we do that, just a quick tour uh, over here. I've got a power bank of nine solar panels going into eight root combiners and this uh, this branch switch here, and its sole purpose is to just it's a it's a bank a power bank, and I'm just sending off. 140 to this this battery. That's all it's doing. Uh, and then this this is showing how much extra voltage I have uh, that's over what I'm try trying to send to this battery. Same thing over here. I've got a power bank of a windmill and five solar panels all going into these uh, five uh, root combiners and terminating here at this branch um, of which I'm sending off. So this is another power bank. I'm sending off another 140 to this battery um, that's, that's for these nine turrets. So, uh, And then in here in the center, we've got We've got nine turrets on one switch. Um, if you haven't, if you're, I'm not gonna go over specifically how to build this. Um, you can see how, how it's built here, but uh, I have a turret video. You can, I'll leave the link in the video here and you can check that out if you wanna see how that's built. Uh, so the question is, you know, how are we supposed to, instead of having nine turrets, each with a, a, a uh, smart alarm and or broadcaster coming off of them, uh, that would be a lot. If you have your Rust Plus, that would be nine, nine different notifications. Um, and then we have a further problem that let's just say you did hook up you know, nine smart alarms, say for an example, each one off, one off each of these, these turrets. How do you power that? Um, the nine turrets has a power limitation in that in order to power this, you need you know nine turrets at 10 volts, that's 90, and then the four switches is 94, the splitters, and then this switch here is one, so 95. So you have to have 95 volts uh, to power nine turrets. And you can do that off of a battery, but a battery's max output is 100. And so you only have four technically if you you know if you skip this branch went straight into this switch you'd have five volts that's not enough to add a smart alarm off of every switch because or after every turret excuse me because in order for this to send out you know from one of these outputs that they have a, a no ammo low ammo and has target in order to send that out you have to actually send 11 volts so if i turn these on right now they're all powered up there we go. Um, you'll notice that at each turret, we have 10 volts coming in, and that's all you need to run the turret. But if you wanna run this extra, anything extra, one or all of these, you need to send one extra volt, so 11. Um, so that's a problem because that would be, you know, it's 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 95 to run this, but we need another nine volts, okay? So that's, that's an issue. Um, how do we get that other nine volts? It's 104 when we have 100. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, and then finally, just before we get started, uh, this over here, which might look, you know, really daunting, is the this is the broadcaster and smart alarm addition that you have to add to the nine turret setup. Um, so I'll kind of cover this when we get here. But I pre wired this because as you can see, it's it would just take forever if I tried to do this live with you guys. So all right, so first, the first thing we have to do is you're gonna have to have, of course, nine turrets on one switch, see the link if you want to to build those. Once you have that, in this current configuration, you require 95 volts. So if we want to increase the voltage to here on each one, we need each of these to send out 11 instead of 10, um, we're gonna have to come up with some more volts. So in another video, you might have seen that I said don't connect battery outputs to root combiners to increase your voltage. That's true. It's not a good practice if you're trying to like just get more volts, just make a separate circuit and that protects you in other ways anyway. Um, but if you're trying to increase a particular circuit, this is something you can do. So I'm gonna show you uh, what we can do here. So I've made this power bank right here and this power bank, uh, it is powering, it has, you know, I've got the one that I'm using coming out of here. I'm setting 140, you just need 125 or more. And then this other one, I've made this other one for the sole purpose of, I guess we'll run, let's, yeah, that will do blue. Uh, this one is is for the the small battery. So I'm just gonna run this down here, just somewhere right around there, and then jumper it over to our battery. So I've just added a charging port, uh, and I'm gonna set, you know, you need uh, 13 minimum, it's 12.5 really to keep this charge, if it's fully loaded. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and just send 15, that'll keep it strong. And so then what I've, what I've done here as using this power bank I have, I've taken 140 and sent it to the large battery and I've taken 15 and sent, sent it to the small battery. And so 
And then this right here shows how much voltage I have floating over in my bank. And so that's gonna, number's gonna change based on wind speed, sun position, all that kind of stuff. So uh, to, the next thing you have to do is unhook this from your, you're gonna unhook your nine turrets from the large battery. And you have to do this because we've got to increase this output a little bit, but also maintain both of these batteries. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna run both of the output of these two batteries to this root combiner. And so I'll just go ahead and do that like so. Let's just jump for these straight over. So there we go, we've got both these batteries combined and now you'll notice we have 110 volts because we've put them together. Now, this does create an issue where the active usage is going to be doubled up, it's gonna double dip, but that's okay because this is essentially, we're doing one big circuit with this and so that doesn't matter as long as you supply the voltage. You don't wanna do this just to create more power for other reasons, but for the purpose of something like this, this is a bit of an advanced application, but this is how you can take 100 volts and turn into 110 volts while still powering it. So what I've done again, 140 to the large, 15 to the small um, to keep them charged. And now all we have to do is run the output, I guess we could do yellow, of this root combiner here is going to run to the input on our branch up here. So I've just unhooked the, the large battery from the branch, trunked them together into this root combiner, and now I've put the input into this root, this um, branch switch. So now I have 110 volts to play with, right? And if you look at both of these, it says um, active usage 96, active usage 10, because this battery's trying, even though they're in a separate, they're separate, it's trying to power all this, it can't. Um, but it's trying, that's why it says full active usage. And this one here is saying 96 um, because right now it's set to 95 and you know, plus, plus a switch. And so if you, right now we need 95 because we have nine times, uh, nine times 10 is 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, and the switch is 95. But we need an extra volt sent to all of these. So you're gonna have to add nine more volts to 95, which gives you 104. So if I set this to 104, and this is a good example as to why this doesn't work. See how the active usage says 100, the active usage says 10. That doesn't actually add up, right? But you can do this. This does work in this application. So now I have 104 coming out, which means if I turn these on, of course, they're all gonna start running, that's fine. And you'll notice now that I have 11 coming out of each of these. And that's what we need, because we need an extra volt available to send out whatever you hook up. And I've hooked up the low ammo in this example, but you could hook up any or all of these you just have to duplicate the, this giant wall of stuff here uh, for each one output you want to use. Um, so now we have 11 going to each turret. That's perfect. Great. That's what we need. And so that's that. So stage one is you have to modify your battery setup. So you have the nine turret set up from the other video, um, the way it's hooked up with the battery in my other video. But we're going to modify it with a small battery and you know to add 10 volts while maintaining charge of, a, of, of the 80% charging efficiency. So this is 125 plus and this is 13 plus, whatever you choose. I've arbitrarily chose 140 and uh, 15. And so you'll notice that despite it being at full usage, the 15 volts is enough to keep this at 150 rest watt minutes. And this one is still climbing since I hooked it up, albeit slowly, but still climbing despite having full active usage. So this is also why I suggest using a power bank because um, right now I have 80 over the, or 83 now, you know, the wind speed is varying, sun's varying, whatever. Uh, and so, you know, this is the, the joys of a power bank, which will be a, a future video actually. So now, so that's step one, we've modified our battery so that we can have the 104 we need, you know, 95 original plus nine extra, one extra for each of these outputs here. And so once you've done that, you now have a situation where they will send out a volt if the thing you've hooked up to meets the requirements. And so I've loaded each one of these with a Python and 51 um, rounds of, of ammunition so that uh, low ammo sends out a signal at 50 rounds and less. So I'm gonna take out rounds of the certain ones to show you how this works. Okay, so now the next part. Um, part two is you have to build this. Now again, I've wired this up for you because I mean, it would have just taken a really long time, right? We have this power bank over here to charge this battery. This is, you know, unimportant. I just did it so you could see ways to do this. Uh, and so what we have here is, I'm gonna actually just go ahead and freeze it for a minute. You can take a screenshot of this. Um, and so what I've done here is each one of these, I've color coded them just to make them easier. On the bottom row, we have nine and switches. And on the B side, it doesn't matter which side you use. I just did it to make it, you know, 
look the same and be easy to follow. On the B side, input B, each of these turret outputs, and I've done, I've, again, I've done the low ammo, is running to uh, the B side on all, so all nine turrets, all nine of these and switches. So these, these three green ones are running to each one of these, the three yellows are running to each one of those, and the three blues are running to each one of these. And so uh, that's one side of the and switch, nine and switches. And then to power that, so, to power that, I've created this power bank over here, which I'll discuss, but each one of these lines here, uh, each are running seven volts out. And each one of those nine outputs here are running to the A input on each of these AND switches across the board nine times. So that's all that is. Uh, and I ran them this way to keep it out of the way of these ones, but they're just running in a line uh, across here, attaching to the A input as you go. Uh, and so, and the reason that I did seven volts on that is because uh, if you look at the longest chain and the only one that isn't the longest chain the only one that's not the same is this one over here because there's an odd number uh, but all i've done is much like you use when you do uh, branch switches or i'm sorry excuse me uh, root combiners is you know you trunk all of all of the inputs in and then you hook all the root combiners together that's why it's always um, root power sources minus one is the root combiners so nine of those is eight of these it's actually the same thing over here we have nine of these and switches that we want to all end up in the same output so that's that comes out to eight um or switches and so these here are or switches uh but you have to use or and not xor because or will pass either side even though these will always receive the same voltage for the most part except for up here uh, they'll just pass the greater of two which serves your purpose so if you did an xor and it received two of these inputs at the same time say two had low ammo it's going to shut off so you cannot use an xor switch so i've used or switches eight of them and it's the same idea as the root combiners i'm just trunking them together as i go up a tree until i end up with a single output and because there's an odd number this one up here at the very top ends up with just this one coming into it from these four to these two to this one. And then it has an extra one for this final guy over here. Um, and so even though this one doesn't need seven, we don't care. That's fine. It can send more than seven. And so uh, that's it. And so if you count up the reason we need seven, uh, remember that the, the turret is going to send out one volt. And so let's say it was this. Uh, we'll say actually one of the blue ones. Say it was this one. The turret's gonna send out one volt when it gets to low ammo or whatever you set it up to, and that's gonna power the switch. So you don't have to account for powering this, the AND switch, you only have to account for powering everything after it. So if you pick a line, say starting here, it would be one, two, three, four volts, come down here, five, because of this switch, and then six, seven, because each one of these needs a volt to run. So again, that's one, two, three, four, follow the yellow line, five, six, seven. So you need seven volts arriving at the A side, the way I've built it. Um, and then the B side is going to power it. So it's going to, you know, you don't have to actually worry about eight volts for this. So, so seven volts across the board. And all I did there was from this battery to do that, I ran the output of this to this branch here. And if you count up, it's 67. And if you count that up, it's because after the branch, if you just follow the red line, you can then add up everything you would need. So the way I would do that is I would say, okay, um, I know I'm going to need, you know, power for all these switches. I know that I need seven. Well, I just need seven arriving here. I know that we just talked about why that is. And so seven times nine is 63. And then on top of that, these switches are all powered, you know, by that seven. So we ignore that. Um, so it's, it's, it's seven, you know, that is those switches, I guess I should say. So seven times nine is 63. And then you need the power of these um, splitters. So 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. So I set that to 67. And so you'll notice that on each one of these, I have exactly seven volts, which is exactly what I want. I want each of those and switches to receive seven volts. And so up here, predictably, we have 22, 22, and 22, because this will use one. Seven times three is 21. There you go. So you would set this to 67 every time, at least if you're doing what I'm doing here. And so at this point, we have everything we need. We have power to pass through all the way around, which will hit one of these. I've set the broadcaster to one, two, three, four. I also have a pager. Um, just you can see, this is um, the this will just fire off. You would set this up to Rust Plus, and I said turret low ammo. Um, note that doing this, you're not going to be able to know what turret uh, is doing this. You're only going to be able to know that one of these nine turrets has low ammo. So you'd have to go check all of your turrets. So if you had nine turrets on, say, one side of your Zerg base, you could say North Nine or something. Have someone has low ammo, um, or has target or whatever it is you want, or or, or no ammo, and so. 
this will go off when any one of these has low ammo. So right right now we can we can prove this by saying, okay, uh, these are all hooked up. They now haul the 11, we've, we've given them that extra volt. And so now they're ready to go. If I turn these on, none of them have low ammo. So there they go, they're all on. And they're not sending out a volt because they have not uh, gotten below 50. They haven't reached 50 rounds yet. And so nothing's happening over here. We have power on the A side because we sent seven volts over here. So we have power on the A side ready to pass. And, and if you you know check out my, my AND uh, or XOR switch video linked there in the screen uh, if you want to know more about those. But the AND switch requires two sides in order to pass power and it'll pass the greater of the two. So the one volt coming from this is going to power and it'll pass the seven. And so, so right now we're, you can see we're ready to receive it. As soon as it receives that one volt bump, it's going to send that seven through. And so, and because it's an OR switch, it can, it can receive it from one or both and it'll keep passing them. So it doesn't matter which turret or multiple turrets. So let's say I turn off this here. And let's go ahead and open up this blue one here and we'll take one round out. If I turn this back on, there you go. My pager is going off because this thing is sending a signal out now to this one. You can see all the lights are on. It's passing power and it's pa you can see the path. It's passing it all the way up the A side, out, down, through the splitter and sending off the broadcaster and the, the smart alarm is going off too. And so uh, let's just stop that um and so and that's it that's all you got to do and so but now let's say we can let's test this so we took one out of that one let's take one out of this one and this one just to show you it doesn't matter which ones or how many the alarm's still going to go off so some of these have low ammo some of them don't if i turn this on pager goes back off okay everything's on and now you'll notice that we've got let's see the center one in this green line the two outer ones on the yellow lines and still the blue one on the far left side all running through and because we're using an and switch as they're traveling it doesn't care it's just going to keep passing voltage and these are going off and so this is it this is how you do it um you know you kind of got to want this you're going to need you know 67 uh you're going to need 60 sorry yeah 67 volts in order to to build this um, so you'll have to want this but for a zerg base this might be useful because this is a single smart alarm to your your rust plus or a single broadcaster sending out to pagers or or whatever you're using i mean you could be having this do lights or whatever you want just wireless stuff and so that's that's there you go that's that's nine turrets one switch a battery modification uh with a power bank uh, and increasing this to 104 volts instead of the 95 required so that each one of these sends out a signal. You arrive here with the AND switches, the signal powers, whatever one is being uh, sending out a signal to. It allows the pass through the voltage that we created right here at this bottom, um, each side of the A on the, uh, on the AND switches. And then it just gets passed through these OR switches all the way down through to the splitter here to one broadcaster and one smart alarm. And that is it, folks. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Uh, I know this was a bit of a bit of a complicated setup here, so if you have any questions, you can also get me on my Discord. See you later.